Hi, this video will help you finding the way to check and update the firmware version of your board and how to make sure uCenter is showing you the latest data. First, confirm that you're connected to your board. You can know this if you see the COM port blinking in green. Now, to check the firmware version of your board, go to Messages view through the View tab on top. Expand a window to your liking. Close the NMEA Messages group to clear up your screen and expand the group of messages called UBX. Then the Monitor tab and finally the Version tab. You will see the firmware version of your board in the Extensions window under the capital letters that stand for Firmware Version of High Precision GNSS, which you can see it is currently version 1.12 for me. Now, if you wish to make sure this data is updated, let's imagine that you're working with several boards and you want to make sure that the data shown refers to the latest board connected. In this case, you can use this button on top to clear the database. Then go down and click on the poll button. This will check the status of your board by throwing a question to the board and the messaging response from the board will pop up. This way you can be 100% sure which version of the board you're connected to. By default your center will have the auto polling of messages enabled, so it is continuously sending the latest information. However, if you wish to have full control on the polling, you can disable this button. Ok, let's see how to update the firmware now. You will see it is very easy. Let's check the latest version for ZF9P module on internet. Search for the uBlox page. Then within documentation and resources section, scroll down and you will find firmware update. Do remember to search for the firmware updates in the documentation and resources tab. It is very easy to miss out. If there is a new version of the firmware you currently have, download the link. If you wish, save this link wherever you find it suitable for you. Then going back to you center, just click Firmware Update in the Tools tab. Choose the firmware downloaded from the three dots button or drop down list if the file has already been used. And check the boxes on the right if they're checked as they are by default. If you forget to uncheck them, no problem. The firmware upgrade might fail and you will have to remove the power of the board and start from the beginning. You may tick the box on the left for non-native USB boards. This will speed up the firmware update for those type of boards. Just choose the maximum speed by which your board can work. If you don't know, usually the 115,200 bits per second is always supported. However, for native USB boards, as the one I'm just using, checking this box will have no effect. Now, click the Go button in green here below and wait until the column with these little squares is green and the configuration progression bar here has reached the end. It might take a few minutes. You will hear sound when finished and a message will pop up confirming the firmware update was successful. That is all. Easy peasy, right? Hopefully this video helped you finding your way to check the firmware version of your board and how to update it and refresh the database. Thanks for watching.